Okay, now that I'm back, I think I need to do some coral maintenance here. Let's check the water and do a water change. I think this piece is not too happy and this piece is not too happy. But other than that, I think it's pretty good. So I fin in the water out. So I turn off the lights when I do the water change because it stresses the coral when the light's on. And on top of that, if the coral goes above water for too long with the lights on, it could burn the coral. So, so I'm doing my water testing right now. Everything still seems to be pretty good. So good job, Aaron. Okay, I did the three water tests over here. Everything was in the right range. So, that's awesome. I don't know what's going on with some of these pieces of coral. Okay, time to cut this up. I'm gonna make a joke, but I'm sure people are gonna get angry. People are like, whenever they cut this up, they're always like, I'm saving the dolphins by cutting this up like this. <laughs> whenever people say that, what I do is I just like imagine that like, no matter what, whenever, if you just throw this away without cutting it, immediately magnetically attracted to the dolphins and will strangle them. Unless we cut it up, of course. Good job, Ryan. I just saved another dolphin. I'm driving off right now to the aquarium store because I need to get more salt water. I'm pretty much out of that and RODI water, which is what I use to top off the tank. I'm gonna also buy some carbon because I think my carbon's like over six months old. Cause this is our house and this is our rules and we can't stop. Whoa, and we won't stop. Whoa. Can't you see it's we who own the night? Can't you see it's we who bout that life? Refilling the seawater. $350 for these scolias. Look at this tank, look how well it's maintained. Very nice. It's like a baby tank. These are the ones I can afford, the $10 pieces. <laughs> Bit of a yeah. Heat wave, but... uh, yeah. Everything looks like it's doing pretty well. Okay, I grabbed my seawater. The owners were like, yeah, I've seen your YouTube videos. Awesome. I was telling them like, all the water quality is still perfect, but I've been noticing all the corals have been receding or dying, so I really hope nothing's wrong. You was by Lennox, you're the one on Peachtree. I was with Dimitri, see you with that loving hip. Ha, men DC. Hit him with the back shots, hit him with the, took it to the bank and I hit him with the cash shots. I do it big, I hit him with the caps like I'm gonna ball, I hit him with the mascot. I got my Kemi Pure here, which it's $14. Pretty much is carbon, which you put in the back of the tank for the filter medium. You only need to replace it like once every six months or so, but it's been actually longer than six months. It's just like a bag of carbon here. So it goes behind here. I haven't even touched this area in so long. So it's probably really scary. I have my Foss guard. Let's remove the bag that's currently in there. This has like been here forever. Looks disgusting. The rest of my tank just has live rock there inside as a filter medium. I'm gonna place it with the new one. I have to make sure that I rinsed out the bag first because look what it does. My gosh. Ew, still making black water. Ew. My hand's like getting stained. Okay, let's add that to the back of the tank. Make sure we have to spread it out as flat as possible so all the water passes over it. There we go. Okay, tank. Become clear and happy for me, please. So since I don't have any groceries or anything since I've been gone, I thought that I would go and do a quick target run to get everything I need. She don't know me, but she said enough to blow me. I said her Twitter picture remind me of Naomi. I'm at Trader Joe's right now, look. Cranberries, 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 cranberries. All the food. I'm hungry too, which is a bad idea. The best cookies. Okay, I'm leaving Trader Joe's, and of course, as always, I forget to buy oatmeal. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna have to buy it at Target. Are you serious? These look really dangerous. You could drink this all up, like, in one use. What would it be like if I actually bought these, like, 10 of these, <laughs> and just, like, ate 
fucked up myself. Ooh, frozen dinners. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I thought of it all. Pizza and chicken in a box. <laughs> you get free frozen garlic bread when you buy two Bertoli. So I'm gonna do that. I've had pretty much all of these now. Let's see which one was a good one. Ooh, monkey bars. <laughs> what is this? Digestive health. Mmm. I love digestive health stuff. More Gatorade to use as a chaser for my protein shakes. Ooh, these look good. <laughs> Alright, this is getting a little dangerous. I'm getting a lot of food. I'm so hungry. I want these, but I don't want them in individual portions. I want them in the box. Ugh, so annoying. Purposely do that. Oh, raisin date walnut. I've never tried that one before. This looks dangerous. Okay, I gotta get pillowcases again because apparently I like to rip pillowcases in my sleep. Oh gosh, forty-five dollars for a pillowcase. Oh. Okay, I guess these are the ones I can afford. Glad I grabbed a cart. This is like so much stuff. See, this is what happens when you shop when you're hungry. You spend so much. <laughs> That's a lot of groceries. My gosh. How much did I spend? I spent $100 today. Returning the cart. Yeah, thumbs up for returning the cart. I had so much stuff that I couldn't even bring it all up at the same time. This is what I brought right now. Wanna see what I got? Let's check it out. Popcorn, this one looked really good, look. Delicious popcorn drizzled with a brown butter, parsley, thyme, and lemon flavor seasoning. That sounds so good. Herb and spices, savory popcorn for your snack cravings. Mac and cheese. I loved this one last time. Cookies. Yes, those are like the best. Eggs. Apple juice. I got some tricolor quinoa. I got some more dried cranberries. Then from Target, I got bagels. Bertoli, Bertoli, and my free frozen bread. Steel cut oats oatmeal, raisin and date walnut oatmeal, King's Hawaiian bread, munchies. They had a deal, which was only like 40 cents off, but I splurged. Cheetos, I love Cheetos. Hand wipes. This is so good, I had this at home. Kefir probiotic strawberry. I got two of them. My pillowcases, cream cheese, and some Greek yogurt. There we go. All of this for $100. Okay, I'm gonna watch some identity theft on Netflix. I hear it's not that good, but I'll give it a chance anyway. We'll see what I think. So I just finished watching the movie Identity Theft. I thought I would give my quick review since it's super late right now. I guess my expectations were pretty low because I actually kind of liked it. Melissa McCarthy, of course, is a comedic genius and I ended up really liking her. She, she had a lot of character development throughout the entire movie. I felt like Jason Bateman just plays the same character in every single movie he's in. And he always plays like this really unlikable two-dimensional character that nobody really cares about. Having said that, I was entertained and I laughed a few times. So I think it's actually worth watching. So my final review out of four stars for Identity Theft is three stars. All night. I'm going. I probably will never see you ever again. That makes me sad. Stay healthy for as long as you can, okay? I'll try to visit you. You're such a good dog. <laughs>